Obviously, we are uh, aware of the uh, situation of the Canadian detained in China. We have been in direct contact with the Chinese uh, Chinese uh, diplomats and representatives. Uh, we are uh, engaged on the file, which we take very seriously, and we are, uh, of course, providing consular assistance to the family. Global Affairs Canada confirming a Canadian has been detained in China. Michael Koverig, a former Canadian diplomat, was reportedly detained just hours before day three of a bail hearing for Chinese telecoms giant Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou in Vancouver. It wasn't immediately clear if the cases were related. What we know is a, uh, uh, a Canadian is obviously in, uh, in difficulty in China. The United States um. is concerned by these reports that a Canadian citizen has been detained in China. We urge China to end all forms of arbitrary detention. There are reports both Canada and the U.S. are now considering travel advisories for China. Corvig is the Northeast Asia Senior Advisor for International Crisis Group. It's an organization that provides independent analysis and advice on how to prevent, resolve, or better manage deadly conflict. In a statement, the crisis group says we are doing everything possible to secure additional information on Michael's whereabouts, as well as his prompt and safe release. It's not clear why Kovrig was detained or if his detention was in retaliation to Meng's December 1st arrest in Vancouver at the request of U.S. authorities as part of a probe into fraud and violations against American sanctions on Iran, a move that's angered Beijing. A spokesperson for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs warned yesterday that Canada will face serious consequences if it fails to properly deal with the detention of Huawei's CFO. As for the detained Canadian, a spokesperson for Global Affairs Canada says the Canadian government is seized with this case and will continue to speak with the Chinese government. And more follow from tensions between Canada and China. A 680s senior business editor, Mike Apple, explains there are now calls to boycott some Canadian products in China. Well, China hasn't made any moves specifically related to trade with Canada. We have seen it hit some Canadian companies doing business in China. One in particular is Canada Goose, which has seen the stock price drop by as much as 18% over a five-day time frame as a Chinese state-controlled social media platform called Weibo called for a boycott of Canadian-made items. And with Canada in the Canada Goose logo, it's an easy target. Other companies such as IMAX and Tim Hortons also do business in China, but have yet to see much market reaction.